hello guys what's going on and welcome to the channel um in today's episode we are going to talk about 10 visual studio code tips and tricks that every web developer should know um, that can potentially increase their productivity all right so let's get started so the very first one i'm going to talk about is how to view your uh javascript output inside of visual studio code okay so um how it's going to work today is that i am going to be doing some things and if there are stuff that I've already done tutorial on, I'm just going to leave links in the description for you to go watch how, you know, you can achieve the same. So first off, um, let's talk about how to view your console.log in the Visual Studio Code output. Okay, so if I do something like console.log, right, and here I say maybe something like hello world. Okay, now if I want to view this in my console, ordinarily I will need to have a browser or maybe Chrome console or something like that. But you can actually view that inside of Chrome. So what I'm going to do is I'll save this first and I'll just click on this button here to view in the console. So let me just permit me to just uh, move this to the right. And as you can see here, we have hello world here. Okay, so let me just do something else. So I'll duplicate this line and i will just see something like okay so this is wahala be like bicycle it's something that is very common in uh nigeria so if i want to also view this in the console first of let me clear the console so you can actually see that it's a fresh um output i'll click on this button here and you see that we have both of them in the console so basically you can um view your output um your console.log output inside of visual studio code i'm going to leave a link in the description that shows you how you can achieve this same thing um for yourself in visual studio code so that's number one number two um how to create custom code snippets okay so basically i will just get rid of this okay now let's look at how to create custom code snippet and i think i can actually close this also so first off i already did one so if i do log and i hit the tab key i have a console.log output but let me do something else so i want to create a variable with a query selector and i hit enter and you see here that i have so i can just come here and say maybe there's something like dot uh clear and i'll just need to change the name of the variable to to clear and that's it i've created my variable okay so um that's how you can create um custom code snippets uh so let me let me do something more interesting so i'll go to my styles.css file and i will say flex and hit the tab key okay so you see here that uh this is display flex just five contents align items uh so I, all i need to do is just change this to the class name okay uh let me do one more let me do grid I think I have a grid yeah so let me save that and as you can see I have this so basically this is um, code that I use very frequently all I just did was I created code snippets for them okay so that um, it's easy for me to um, easily you know use this code these pieces of code in my you know projects all right so I'll leave a link in the description that teaches you how you can do um, this exact thing I just did here all right so um that's number two number three is how to copy a line uh upwards and downwards so many times when i do tutorials right there are times when i need to uh you know when i need to copy like a line of code and come down paste it like so a number of times okay so basically i just want to show you that you can easily you know duplicate a line of code upwards or downwards in visual studio code so if you put your mouse on that uh, specific line and you press alt and shift and then you press down it will duplicate that code down um, so let me you can also duplicate it upwards so let me just do something different here uh, I'll just see you know what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna put something different in here so I would see a paragraph with a uh, text of just hello and I want to duplicate it upwards I'll just press alt and then I'll press upwards and it will just duplicate it. So basically that's how you can easily duplicate code. If you want to duplicate a block of code, 
all you need to do is highlight all of the code like so and press your shift and alt and down and it will duplicate it downwards like that okay so that's the third productivity hack that you could use in your visual studio code uh, the fourth is how to edit multiple lines so you know what i'm going to do let me just create my paragraph and say hello world one more time okay and i'm going to duplicate it a few times like that and save and if you look at my styles.css you see that i also have hello world here so i would also save that now what if i wanted to edit like i have a project i've been working with and i wanted to change the hello world to like a name or something so the way you can easily do that is you press ctrl shift and h okay it will locate all of the instances okay where you have that world okay so for example i have it oh i actually needed to type this uh, to type it out myself okay so when you press ctrl shift and h ideally what should happen is you should have this uh, search bar that is opened up so if you go ahead and search for what you want so i'll just search for world right it will locate all the files in my directory where that world is actually found okay so basically what i can do is if i want to replace that world with like something different so let me just replace it with Zeno, which is my name uh, all I need to do is to come here and click on this replace all okay so the shortcut is ctrl shift h and if I click here uh, it will tell me like it will give me like a notification if I click on replace you see here that it has replaced world with Zeno. if I go to my styles.css it has also replaced world with Zeno. so that's find and replace in all folders okay all right so um, I don't that was I think that was number five all right, so number fifth hack that every developer should know is how to use live server. So, um, you know, when you're making changes to a project, right, um, it's, it saves time if the moment you click on control save uh, or the moment you save that project, your change is automatically effected. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to right click and I'll click on open with live server. And you see here that we have, um, I'm going to, you know, minimize my code um, editor. So let me, okay, so I'll minimize my code editor so you can see the changes that are being made. So this is live server and I'm sure most of you probably know about that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the last Zeno to world. And if I save, you see that it will refresh on the page and this is now changed to world. Okay, so that's one uh a uh, tool that you as a developer should know like i said i don't want this video to be too long so i'll leave a link in the description to show you how you can achieve um many of these things i'm doing or really all of these things i'm doing all right so the next productivity hack that every developer should know is how to use emmet okay emmet is a fantastic tool i'm sure you probably know about emmet but do you really know how to use emmet okay i'm sure most of you probably know how to you know create an html boilerplate and stuff like that but there's so much more to emmet that uh you you know you can actually learn so i'll leave a link in the description to how you can use emmet and i i give i give so many examples in that um video so for example if i wanted to create a div with a class of container and inside of that i wanted to create another div with a class of row okay so i'm um, like something that you know is common in bootstrap and inside of that i wanted to create another div with a class of maybe call um let's see so call hyphen md and maybe i'll just do hyphen six and i'll do times two and i hit the tab key see what happens so this is typically how you know the bootstrap um container system works okay and i did that with just a single line so that's the power of emmet check the link in the description you'll see uh, many examples of what you can do with emmet okay so i go I like into details on how to use emmet okay so now the next thing i want to show you is how to locate a variable definition so for that i'm going to bring out uh bring up my a javascript file okay so this is a javascript file it's a pretty uh up to like maybe 105 lines of javascript okay so now 
I have this um, clear here. It's an event listener I, did, I added. If I wanted to locate where this clear was defined, the variable clear was defined, all I need to do is to right click on clear and search for go to definition. And automatically, it will go to the point where I defined that variable. Okay, so that's um, a, a, a tip that can actually help you, you know, save time scrolling up and down your JavaScript file and stuff like that. All right, the la next one I want to talk about is how to split your view in Visual Studio Code. Um, something that is pretty common, especially if you have a large screen. So if I come to view, right, and I come to um editor layout okay i can choose to split my visual studio code such that i'll be able to view more than one files in the visual studio code so if i click on split right you see here i have my index html so i can easily be working on my index html and my styles.css at the same time okay and maybe i have another screen where i'm viewing the output of uh, my code and stuff like that okay so that's a productivity hack that some people find very useful. All right. So um, the last one I'm going to talk about is let me let me kind of close one of these. So I'm just going to close this one, and I'm just going to show you about text wrapping in uh, Visual Studio Code. So there may be times when let me just do lorem and uh, let me just do 200. Right. I'll hit tab. So there may be times when um, if maybe you're new to using Visual Studio Code, you have this kind of stuff where your you have a very long code or you have some very long text and you know you have to scroll in, you know, to view the end of the text or the code. Well, there's a feature called text wrapping in Visual Studio Code and you can easily wrap your text such that um, everything will just go to the next line. So to do that all you need to uh, do is press alt z and it will just wrap your text you know kind of make it responsive kind of okay all right so that's 10 productivity hacks um, that can potentially increase your productivity as a developer thank you so much for watching this video if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe leave a like on this video and see you in another one